you all shoot so much, how many months and years, and finally it boils down to that one or two minute trailer. Mm -hmm. That decision, kya dale isme to you know send out the fun part, the messaging, and everything. Yeah, it, it, it's tricky to take mm -hmm. a like our film is two hours fourteen minutes and to cut a yeah. two minute. A 20 second right. uh, trailer out of it. But I think the, the general rules are that hmm. you have to give a sense of what the story is right. without revealing uh, hmm. uh, uh, how uh, hmm. things without happen. Revealing too much. Without right. revealing too much. What do you talk to them about? You know, they would really like some wise words. They are a brand new generation in this industry. What would be your advice even to kids, the entire generation? I, I think that they are inherently very talented. Right. And if they just uh, work hard, their feet on the ground, mm. they should fly. That nervousness. That nervousness. They're talking yeah. about it like it's in the past. But it's my fifth uh, film, and my, today my palms <laughs> were like this when I was inside. Hi, I'm Zoya, and I'm Rima, and you're watching this only on Bollywood, Bollywood Hangama. Hangama. Guys, I've just seen the trailer of the Archies and I just want to say one thing. Big congratulations to both of you, to Netflix, to the whole team, all your actors. What an achievement it is to come to this point where, you know, your trailer makes people emotional and your trailer, you know, sends out the right message. Big congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, my first question is to you. Um, you all shoot so much, how many months and years and finally it boils down to that one or two minute trailer. Mm -hmm. That decision, kya dale isme to, you know, send out the fun part, the messaging and everything. Yeah, it, it, it's tricky to take mm. a, like our film is two hours, 14 minutes and to cut a yeah. two minute, a 20 second uh, right. uh, trailer out of it. But I think the, the general rules are that mm. you have to give a sense of what the story is right. without revealing uh, mm. uh, uh, how uh, mm. things without happen. Without revealing too much. Without right. revealing too uh -huh. much. You have to uh, give a sense of the characters mm. and also the world. Mm. You have to give a sense of the scale of mm. the world and yeah. of intimacy and be closer to them. Yeah. So you feel the people. So there are these few things that you have to... Mm. Tick the boxes, Tick the you know? Boxes. Yeah. Right. W what about you? You know, uh, what are the decisions that go into a trailer? Are you all always on the same page? Does anyone has to add one more thing, remove something? I mean, yeah, we do talk about stuff like that. But I think the general intent is the same. You're mm. trying to give a slight promise of what people can expect. Okay. You know, and be true to the film. Right. Because at the same time, you can't be creating a product, you know, uh, something that you don't have. Expectations, Yeah, right. because eventually the idea is for... It is to motivate people to come and watch hmm. the main event, which is the film. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, since we are celebrating the trailer so much, <laughs> yes. I'd like to put it out there. The right. main event <laughs> is still to come. Yeah. Main event is still to come. We saw it with a bunch of people, different age groups. Uh, did you get a sense that what you set out to make and the message that you wanted to go out has gone out? I think with the trailer, yeah, but right. now you have to wait for the film because right. the film is, as she says, the main course, uh -huh. actually. Yeah. Uh, so you have to wait uh, for when the film comes, how people see it. Mm. Uh, they are going to be watching it uh, alone. They mm -hmm. might not have a community experience when yeah. they watch it. Right. So how do they react to that? How does mm. the, the alchemy of the viewer and the right. movie happens? Uh -huh. Then you'll know, you uh -huh. know. Then you always know how people feel. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. The vibe comes through. Right. Mm. Do you, you know, if you had an option of watching a trailer, how, where would you watch it? How would you like to watch it? I mean, I watch most trailers on my TV at home. Okay, on your TV. Uh, right. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do once a month <laughs> what's coming out next yeah. month. Kind right. Of, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, I speak to so many filmmakers around the world. What annoys them is this watching trailer on the phone. Yeah. In your bus, yeah. auto, taxi, wherever crowded place. Uh, are you also someone who would like to wait for two minutes and watch it properly? I mean, uh, watching the trailer on the phone, people are watching films on their yeah, phone, right. which is uh, the uh, more shocking than a trailer. <laughs> uh, to me, I, I mean, I would want people to watch it on the biggest screen biggest they have access possible. to. Correct. Yeah, right. definitely. You but know, at the same time, if somebody, you know, this is what they have access to, have then, access then to. I'm really watch. happy that they are uh, yeah. at least they are. being a part of the experience. Right. At least you know? they can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, you know, now talking about what is in the trailer, this is the first time we see all of them say dialogue, say lines. Uh, this will be the first exposure yes. for all your kids, I may call yeah. them, <laughs> for yes. all your kids to sure. be out there. And they, you know, it's a tough industry to crack. What are, what are, are they prepared for this big day? 
I mean, they are uh, they are excited and nervous mm -hmm. as any uh, uh, debutant, any mm -hmm. uh, new uh, bee that come, is stepping foot mm -hmm. into uh, such a big industry. And uh, you know, you're coming out there. It's like you're uh, you're stepping out on stage, and the world yeah. is mm -hmm. uh, uh, the audience. You know, so yeah, it's it's nerve wracking, but uh, they are uh, they're extremely talented, mm -hmm. and they are really willing uh, to work hard. Right. You know, and uh, if, if they do that. Mm. Those those things remain. You know, they right. keep growing their craft and uh. they keep working hard, uh. and uh, they, they'll be they're unstoppable. Right. Have have all of them seen the trailer? When did you all watch it together? Yeah, yeah, they've seen the trailer. Okay, that must have been an emotional point. I think the biggest emotional point was uh, uh, showing them the cut. Okay. Because nice. I did it wow. at home. I invited all like nine of them were there. Even Moose and Midge came. Nice. So yeah, right. so they uh, came home and mm. I had a full screening in my house, mm. uh, followed by lunch. Mm. So they watched the film together mm. uh, for the first time. So I think that was very moving. Right. You know, or, or them the seeing there. themselves on screen the first time. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. You know, also there's a there's a messaging here. You know, saving a park, saving greenery, and you know this is going back to the 60s. Uh, how important was it for you to, sh you know, to have this entire messaging? Archie's comics is full of subtle messages. Yeah. You know, small, small messages. Yeah. How much of all that is you've retained in the movie? I mean, Archie, like we've retained the larger essence of it. Okay. And obviously adapted and modernized a little bit of the uh, things as well. Okay. Uh, um, but I think the messaging part, like Archie had a lot of family values, mm. you know, in terms of the intergeneration, yes. how they treated the parents, how their parents uh, mm. treated them, mm. uh, friendships, uh, what it meant. Also, when we were reading Archie comics, mm. uh, it was uh, uh, less was more. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 things were very different. Mm. Uh, uh, it was a time of jam sessions and a mm. time of skating and a time of cycling places mm. and walking places and you know it was simpler. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, um, and we kind of retained that mm. uh, to keep and thematically modernized it for kids today. Right. Uh, yeah. In the themes, mm. like in the uh, greenery, in right. the, these kind of things, are issues for today's kids. Right. Issues for today's kids. Yeah. You know, you tell me uh, when when you know when everybody saw the first cut, like she's saying, and they also saw the trailer first and then the first cut. What were their reactions like? I, I think they were all overwhelmed, and right. I think they're very they're very tight knit, right. and uh, I think it's a very strange experience to see yourself on screen the first time. Mm -hmm. So I think they were kind of going through that kind of mm -hmm. uh, detachment with their own character. Mm -hmm. But uh, what was very very sweet is that they were all praising each other. Uh -huh. They were you, all praising each yeah, other. Yeah, they were all sweet, like, "You yeah. were very good in that. You were very good in that. You were." So I think that was more than them them talking about themselves because right. they still it's they're getting used to it. Mm -hmm. They're also getting used to seeing themselves. Right. You you know, if you want, what kind of messages, what, what do you talk to them about? You know, they would really like some wise words. They are a brand new generation in this industry. What would be your advice even to kids, the entire generation? Who I, I think it's pretty much what, you know, Zoya touched upon earlier. I, I think that they are inherently very talented. Right. And if they just uh, work hard, keep their feet on the ground, mm -hmm. they should fly. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just uh, stay rooted. You know, they are very rooted kids. They're Which very they humble. are, right? Yeah. Which they, are. they all are, yeah. and you know, and it's even. I mean, even like a Dilton, he mm. turned eighteen on the film. <laughs> like for a seventeen-year-old <laughs> so to get right. a lead part, right. you right. know, he was not even set out to be an actor. Right. So it can, you know, it can go to your head when yeah. you're that young, mm. you know. And Yuvraj, he's one of the most articulate mm. boys, and uh, uh, if they just. If they just retain that, mm, mm. and if they just keep working on themselves and mm. working hard, they, the world is theirs. Is theirs yeah. And they're a really yeah. sweet bunch. They yeah. Are. I mean, yeah. yeah. So I'm uh, uh, expecting to see a lot more of them right. in the future. Yeah. Nice. Of course we will. You know, so if I ask you, when you started, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you had directed, say, Shankar Madhavan's video, uh, music video? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, do you see any similarity between the nervousness and the excitement that you had at that time? to what they have now? Uh, no, because I had already done short films before that. Right. Uh, so yeah, when you're doing your first short film, yes. But yeah. I think that uh, that still was like in film school or, you know, like with your friends or mm. a few people, the nervousness came with luck by chance. Right. Because that's when you actually, when someone's bet on you, right. you know, and there's real uh, money involved. Okay. And there's real, uh, uh, someone's yeah. given you a responsibility. Right. And now you've made it and people mm. have trusted you and actors have trusted you. And mm. luck by chance was full of cameos as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, Not true, just the yeah. cast. And you what know? cameos? Exactly. But honestly, yeah. I don't think that's gone, huh? that nervousness. That nervousness. We're talking yeah. about it 
not like it's in the past but it's my fifth uh, film and my today my palms <laughs> were like this when i was inside oh my yeah, god yeah yeah really, it, it, it never goes right you know lastly or uh, when when this drops on netflix where will you all what is the plan for that day is there a plan for that day and you tell me according to you in both of you included who will be the most nervous and who will be the most chilled out count your cast and she is going to be very chilled out because she, she is normally is chilled out <laughs> i'm going to be nervous and i'm going to hide <laughs> I'm going to call my friends home, and I'm going to keep calling Neha from Netflix and asking her what the results are. Yeah, I mean, results, my exam results. <laughs> I, I'll be chilled out to the point where I think that we left no stone unturned. We mm. did everything we could mm. to, uh, you know, put our best foot forward. Right. So that's why I mean. See, this even she knows. But how would how do you manage to be calm on a day when this drops? I mean, she's it's, not, uh, that's because uh, when she's directed the film, then she gets nervous when I've directed the film. <laughs> oh, that's okay. not true. So yeah, it's not. Turns. It matters. Right. It matters. Right. Maybe, maybe. But I, I think that uh, really, I think when you put up, you know, put your best foot forward, mm. and then it's out of your hands. Mm. It's out of your hands. It is out of your and, hands. And uh, you have to be a little philosophical. <laughs> Others, you're going to give yourself a heart attack. Right. You know? Going by. the trailer i absolutely can't wait to watch it so best of luck to thank both of you. you thank you thank so you. much hi i'm zoya and i'm reema and you're watching this only on bollywood, bollywood hangama, hangama.